Immersive Digital Accelerator. This is a short audio described introduction to Immersive Digital Accelerator, an XR Stories video that lasts under three minutes. We begin in a bright white studio style room with steel tracking across the ceiling. A group of roughly 10 people are watching a TV screen, some sitting around a big square table, some to the side. They're listening to a white man in his early 50s with shaved, short, bleached blonde hair and a neat, dark beard and eyebrows. He wears glasses, a long sleeve black t shirt, and black trousers. As contributors speak, we move from behind a camera to a control centre with screens and a mixing desk, people trying out virtual reality headsets, workshops involving cameras and CGI technology with body sensors, small black box studio spaces and groups of people huddled round a screen listening intently. A woman wears a motion capture suit and her rough avatar appears on a screen, a Zoom meeting, a virtual art gallery and musicians playing. The contributors are Paul Windle, Head of Development, Clockwork Films. He's a white man in his late thirties with short, wavy, dark blonde hair, and he wears a smart black shirt and is sitting on an open staircase. Emma Osman, XR producer, a black woman in her late twenties with long black hair and twists. She wears a black shirt under a black leather jacket and sits in a well-lit indoor space with plants behind her. Simon Wilkinson, Co-director, bright black, a white man in his early fifties from the beginning of the film. He has shaved, short, bleach blonde hair, with a dark beard and eyebrows. He wears a sage green shirt, a white tie and dark jeans. He sits on an upright box in a studio, a colourful backdrop full of geometric shapes behind him. Myra Appenar, co-director, bright black, a woman of Mauritian heritage in her early forties with short black hair with flashes of pink in it. She wears a sand-coloured boiler suit. Amy Lord, Artistic Director, Lord Whitney, a white woman in her late thirties with long black hair tied back. She stands in front of a white square pillar in a studio space. She wears a muted teal roll-neck jumper. Noah Lee Underwood, Creative Producer, Oxygen Films, a person of mixed race with short brown hair, wearing a black roll-neck jumper under a mushroom chiffon shirt and jeans. They stand in front of a blurred studio backdrop that has lots of geometric shapes on it. Emma Brown, Program Manager, XR Stories and Sign, a white woman in her 40s with medium-length dark brown hair, wearing a navy blue shirt. She sits at a table in an office. Heather Niven, Business Innovation Consultant, a Scottish woman in her late 40s with long, wavy brown hair. She wears a black tunic with white patterns embroidered on it, with a long red and black scarf around her neck. Damien Murphy, director, XR Stories and Sign, a white man in his early 50s with short bleached hair and a small chin beard. He wears a two-tone dark v-neck jumper over a pale shirt, black framed glasses, and he sits at a table in an office. So we're going to start off this morning with a little bit of a demo on 3D modelling, and then we're going to do a presentation on immersion. The Immersive Digital Accelerator is an XR Stories development programme and it's funded by the European Regional Development Fund. Accelerators provide support to small businesses through training, mentoring and face-to-face -face meetings. They provide access to technical resources, expertise and facilities. It will provide training for women in marginalised genders in the Leeds City region and they will be able to make compelling extended reality experiences. I think it's been really useful to be with such a diverse cohort. I'm from a working class background, I'm part of the LGBTQI plus community. You've got people with those backgrounds and those uh, lived experiences, hearing the ideas that they've got and then the ideas that I've got and mixing them up and influencing each other. It's given me ideas of what I can do with my business that I thought I'd have to hire other people, so now I can do it in-house. A part of what we're doing is giving people confidence, giving them skills and encouraging them to understand that it is possible. They just automatically start picking up the language, they start thinking differently, it starts to change the way they see the world. I've made something that I never thought I'd have the capabilities to make. From weaving in XR into our storytelling process and experiences, to also looking at how we can use it as a tool to quickly prototype ideas, has just been incredible. Just a whole multitude of ways I think it's going to influence our work. 
to come into this environment and have people so like willing to give you their time, expertise and their ideas has been really, really useful. It's really opened my eyes beyond the world of film specifically, which is where I came into this from. We do know that these opportunities are out of reach for a lot of people. The Immersive Accelerator programme is enabling women and underrepresented groups in our region's creative industries to develop new skills and importantly new connections. For me personally it's been fantastic but also from the business point of view it puts us in a much better position to understand where we're going and to accelerate our growth. In upskilling our underrepresented groups we're promoting new voices, new ideas and we're championing an industry-wide shift in perceptions to embrace the increased opportunities for innovation and growth that will arise from different voices, stories and input. The organisations that we support can leverage our accelerator programmes to help workforce and business development and so deliver economic growth with social and cultural impact. It makes you see that there might be different avenues that you can go in in this really exciting emerging wild west of a new sector. XR Stories. Black writing on a lime green background. Enquiries at xrstories.co.uk. Below are the University of York and European Regional Development Fund logos. Audio described by Vicky Aykroyd for Vocalize.